Fable the Journey is a lovely build-up throughout the game of intense action and beautiful story. It's rich, it's charming, it's witty. The story is front and centre. It's always about the player being the hero. When you're actually using your hands, it's a really great connection with the world. For the first time in a Fable game, we're not playing part of the bloodline. Gabriel is a bit of an unusual guy. He wasn't born to this great destiny. He doesn't take life too seriously until really adventures thrust upon him. Gabriel is not particularly heroic. In fact, when he first encounters Teresa, he's quite cowardly. I'm sorry! I can't! Gabriel! He falls asleep at the beginning of the game, he gets split up, and suddenly he's put into this kind of hero position. This is the moment he has to make his own way into the world. That's when he comes across Teresa. Teresa is the link between all Fable titles. Is she good? Is she bad? We were really, really excited to actually tell her story for the first time. It's unmistakably Fable in its feel and its approach. It's got darkness, but it's also got humor. Very eccentric, very British, I guess you could say. Probably just a hairline fracture. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> For the first time, we travel on horse and cart, and they move a lot quicker than moving around on foot. So we realized that we had to build a far bigger world. So we've built a rich, vast world in Fable the Journey. It's about three times the size of Fable 3, for example. Threat in Albion is not just the creatures we're used to seeing in a, in a, in a Fable game. We've got hogs, of course. Valverines and hollow men, but there's this demonic twist of the corruption. The world is definitely flipped. The corruption is in charge now. Evil is covering the world. We really stretch the scale of things. Once you get to the actual bosses, those guys are huge. You're back to Albion, and that's the way people should feel when they're playing this game is, I'm, I'm home again. I'm back in the world that I love. This is Albion like we've never quite pushed it before. You are the hero. You have powerful magic, unlike anything we've done in games before. And you are the hero in a compelling narrative action adventure. That is Fable the Journey.